Greg. I'm Derek. I'm Steve. Welcome to Men of the Dead, and this is Monday. Hi everyone, welcome to another week here on The Den. Uh, so this week we're going to talk about some juicy booties and... Girl, she died! <laughs> Is your blood sugar low? Is it though? <laughs> we are going to talk about uh, season 13 and the ending of All Stars. So, UK Drag Race. This is. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> if you don't spoilers. want to spoilers, just stop watching. This is where River Song should come up at the bottom and say spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. Not All Stars UK. Yes, that's what yes. I meant. Yes. yes. They know what I meant. Yeah. They did. Right. Um, so, the ending of UK. The ending of UK was hilarious. Because the whole time, you were like, oh, I hope Lawrence wins, I hope Lawrence wins, I really want to see Lawrence win. <laughs> and then at the very end, we get to the end, and he's like, oh, Lawrence is never going to win. And then, and then Ray Paul's like, congratulations, Lawrence Cheney! And Greg's like, wow. And then he's like, I think Billy Bob Blue Ass was wrong. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I mean, I had such mixed feelings. I really wanted Lawrence to win, but then after the announcement, I'm like, wait a minute, I think Bimini was wrong. Bimini <laughs> was wrong. So I got what I wanted, but at the same token, I got But what that. did it cost, Greg? What did right. it cost? Yeah. I was rooting for Taste to win. I love Taste, like, as. Uh, the character she portrayed on TV. <coughs> and who would have known that she was the, the the son, the bass player of Wham? And I know you said early on that Bimini was always your favorite. Bimini was my favorite from episode one. There you go. So I'm you probably bigger, feel wrong. Yeah, I'm a big Aquaria fan, and she was giving me Aquaria from day one. Mm. So, but then just to see her grow beyond that, mm -hmm. and when she came back from the uh, from the lockdown, it was incredible to watch her journey from there. I'm forever a fan of the mini bomb goulash, and I'm happy for to see what they what she does in the future. So bottom line, the one I wanted won, but I felt bad that she won. So yeah, she's not quite sucking the willies yet. <laughs> <laughs> but now Lawrence has a good future. Taste is already the face of Coca Cola in the UK. Oh yeah, and then he's like got a deal with a whole bunch of modeling agents. So, so yeah, there's just nothing but success for the top three. Now, let's get on to the less light topic of season thirteen. It's getting First. better. Oh, yeah, remember. it's getting better. I actually have to say the last two episodes have been have pulled me back in a bit because up until that point I was like, Ugh. the season is never ending. These people are insufferable. And now I like them. No. Two episodes ago, they were paired up, right? Mm -hmm. And it was Simone and Utica. Oh my god, they were so good together. Yeah, I love that. that that whole way they did them. Uh, the makeover episode was genius this year. And then this week, it was Utica just being a fucking bitch. She was so <laughs> mean. I mean Who'd have thought? There's like, if I was ever to be on the show, the challenge I would look forward to the least would be a roast or a stand-up comedy challenge. Mm -hmm. Because there's one thing to be funny on to be funny on the spot, but to actually have to write something to be funny and hoping that there's going to be jokes out of it. Yeah, I've heard, I heard, I heard you deliver written content before and you sound like you're delivering written content. So I can imagine it would be the same with jokes. Yeah, that would because be hard, like, yeah. you have Two to. Guards and stuff. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, there's there's improv where you just come up with something on the fly and it works. And then there's writing and then it's sounding scripted. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's hard. And, and if then, you don't know how to do it, it's you. It's trying to learn. Remember when you, you when we first started the dead, you wanted to do it that way. Oh yeah. The first little while, if you go back to our beginning ones, Derek always scripted out what he was gonna say in advance. But now we're doing it live. I I always tell him. And I I had to tell him at one point. I'm like, it, it just doesn't sound genuine if you're writing it down in advance. Yeah. We're not Shakespearean actors here. Yeah. We're not. No. Speak for yourself. I'm Hamlet. <laughs> Oh, I remember that line from Hamlet. I'm Hamlet! <laughs> to be or not to be. Oh, I'm Hamlet! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, who's left in uh, who's left in 13? So there's five. Ooh. There is Olivia Lux, mm -hmm. Rose, mm -hmm. Simone, mm -hmm. Candy Muse, and Gothic. 
I mean, it seems like it's pretty much set that Olivia's gonna go over the next episode of the top four is already set. And she's gonna be Miss Congeniality. Because everyone's gonna I would that. say that as long as Simone and Ro- Rose don't fuck up next week, Simone and Rose is probably gonna win the season. What's, I think, the, ch- what's the challenge next week? Um, it's an, another improv acting challenge, I think. One thing I'd like a green screen. One thing challenge. I'd like to point out is no queen has ever won the show after being in the bottom three twice. Yeah. Which Simone has that distinction now. Yeah. She, she's been in the bottom two twice. Mm. Yeah. This is um. I'm trying to think because Sharon lip synced once, Jinx lip synced once, Raja lip synced once. Um. Bianca didn't lip sync. Mm-hmm. Violet didn't lip sync. Sasha didn't. Sasha didn't lip sync. Bob Bob lip synced once. Once. Aquaria, did Aquaria lip sync? No. No. Um, Yibi Adi lip synced twice, didn't she? Did she? Not? No, she just so once. only the one. Well, only okay. And then her final. And then her final one. one. Yeah. yeah. The Ashura Matt. Yeah. yeah. So they were in the bottom. bottom. So see what I mean? They were. Yeah. She's the only one that's ever been in the bottom. Yeah. Nobody's ever won. Bottom. Bottom everyone twice. thought Gigi Good was gonna win last season, but she lip synced twice. Right. So. so it seems to be the death curse unless Simone manages to be the one Look to, over there! To break it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, and I guess Scott Mick could win. Really the only one I don't think has a chance to win. I mean, she'll make the final four because you can tell they've dragged her along this far. Uh, Candy Mew's gonna make final four, but that's fair. She's gonna Yeah. I think it's gonna be either Rosé or Scott Mick. Yeah. And I'm really kind of... I feel like they're, gonna, they're definitely gonna push Scott Mick, which is awesome, but I feel like it's gonna be Rosé for sure. I'd like to see where they went. Yeah. I, I well. She was one of my picks right from You're the drinking day. one. <laughs> oh. Ah, I am drinking a rose. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, rose would be my pick out of the final four. Yeah. Uh, I'd say I'm I'm team Gottmik or Rose. Who are you? Who do I want to win? Mm-hmm. I want it to be Simone, but I just don't think she has a chance at this point. Yeah, that second bottom two killed her. Yeah. Because yeah. even if Rosé hits the bottom next week, that'll still only be one time in the bottom. Yeah, I'd say probably, I would say Simone would be the best, like my favorite, but second choice would be Rosé as well. If Rosé makes it through next week, she's in good shape because she'll be the only one in the final four, the bottom, the final four that has not lip sync. That's true. There you go. And not only has not lip sync, the others have lip sync more than once. Yeah. And if she wins, she came up from the pork chop group too, so. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Redemption for all pork chops everywhere. Yeah. Right. Who, is there any other ones in pork chop left? No. No, Rosé is the only one from the pork wow. chop. Wow. So. There's just some pork the chops. Last of them at home was Yurika. There's just some pork chops left in the frying pan. That's right. Yeah. I made I made pork chop fried rice for supper. Yeah. So good. It's my one good thing. It's one of his good things. No. He's sweet. So, we got like some this Rosé. So we got some future episodes of Drag Race coming up. We have Drag Race Espana, Drag Race Australia, oh, yeah. and a rumored international all-stars. Is oh, being yeah. Built. But they were going to include Thailand, right? Nope, Thailand. Apparently the host, Pangina Eels, is competing. Oh, wow! He's intense! <laughs> okay. I'm excited, because if, if this is true, I'm excited because I don't think anyone can hold the candle All right. Pangina Eels. So I'm going to put you on the spot as the Drag Race... King. Okay. Who's in Who's in the next season of All Stars? Uh, from what I've been reading on Reddit, we have Serena Cha Cha, Eureka O'Hara, Silky Nutmeg Ganache. I want to see Eureka and Silky duke it out. Yeah, that would be amazing. But I'm a fat bitch. No, I'm a fat bitch. But <laughs> we have Jan. I like Jan. I do like, I love Jan's horn, actually. Yeah. I, it would be something if Rosé wins and then Jan gets on right afterwards, because for those of you who don't know, Rosé is in a group called Stephanie's, Stephanie's Child with Jan, and there's another like, queen to a camera her name. She has one on the record. Stephanie's Child. Yeah. They, but, actually, they actually auditioned for America's Got Talent. You should ch- yeah. check it out. I've seen that. Yes. But it's like Simon really doesn't like them. Well, I'll, I'll, to make it short, but step by uh, that whole drag family, it's Rose, Jam, Lemon from Drag Race Canada, and Alexis Michelle. Ooh. So it's this whole part of this drag family. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Uh, but who else uh, that I read was supposed to be in All Stars Six is oh, I'm excited for is Sonique from season two. Yeah, I was. We'll see. So we'll see. We'll see. Sonique. Sonique could have has completely changed since she's been on. So we'll see. Yeah. 
There you um, go. Who else? There was some that, yeah, it wasn't, uh, oh, oh wait, Giannis and Bia. Ginger Min just coming in. Ginger Min. Oh, oh, which I don't really understand why yeah. Ginger would come back. But this is like all rumors. This is just what they're saying on Reddit, so who knows? It's based on people's social media activity, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yes. It's based on, I, guess, I guess we will know soon because it doesn't, isn't planning on airing immediately after this? Yes. It's supposed to be, yeah, so they should be probably announcing in the next week or two. Yeah, yeah, because we only got two, maybe three episodes left to drag. Well, unless they do another double save. Oh my fucking god, if they do another <laughs> double save, if they do another, another double save, I'm going to turn into Pink Diamond myself and strike them but all it's gonna down. Be, it's going to be... Strike them down. It's going to be a double save, but it's going to be the episode where an eliminated queen comes back. Strike <laughs> them down. <laughs> listen, listen. The there's not one eliminated queen I even care to see come back enough. <laughs> You got me fired up now. <laughs> no, you want you want back. It's the no. Who? I did not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. She, so not story for the first six weeks of the show, me and me and Steve didn't do it on purpose. Every time Denali came on the screen, we're like, "Who's that? Who's that?" And Derek's like, "That's Denali." And he, I swear, he did this for the first six weeks. And now I do it for fun. It was not until about the seventh week. What week did we did we actually like Denali that she stood out? Maybe it was Snatch Game, was it? Yeah, because she was JBN for a Snatch Game. Mm. And it was the, no. one ap- the one episode after when she actually went when she went home. Oh. Yeah, okay. I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. And you're like, what? I didn't want her to go. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I did like her in the Snatch Game, so that's right. That's yeah. right. Like, you used his initials, so I didn't know who the fuck you were talking about. You should know who JBN listen, is. Listen. JBN and JHC. Listen, I'm drinking my rosé here. Don't get saucy with me. You should know who came Jesus. Mama needs her drink. <laughs> Mama needs her drink. <laughs> anyway, uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? How about our stream woes? Let's talk about our stream woes there. Oh my god, technical difficulties Ugh. this week. Fuck. Ugh. Okay, so a lot of the streamers will tell you, oh, you gotta get all the good equipment. You need to get this and you need to get this. I got that and it sucked. <laughs> it's true. You went out and bought the fancy, well, the capture card died. Yeah. Then we went to Best Buy to buy the fancy, expensive capture card and it wouldn't work at all, hardly. Yeah. And then there may or may not have been a minor freak out, but we got through it. Mama drank some wine. And, uh, and then we returned that one to Best Buy and bought another cheap, shitty Amazon. We bought it because they work cheap, better. No, cheap knockoff capture card. And yeah. my god, if it's got, it can still pull 4K quality through USB 2 for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> the sound is great, it's plug and play. It works with the PlayStation 3. I don't have to test the PS4 yet, but right now we have to switch the PS3 working. And I ran a stream through yesterday and it was the smoothest one I've done in a while. Yeah, it is, it was. Wow. And it was $20. I know, right? And Derek and I are pledging to actually use our fucking ring fit that we bought how many years ago eight well, years ago no about a year and a half ago there was at least a video of you uh in this apartment playing that game yeah and we've been here for two years now this week oh my god stop ah! corona has officially killed ah! half, of our, half of our time we've been more corona. than half yes well that's depressing Anyways, Derek and I are gonna get super fit, just wait. Yeah, we're gonna be like super muscle twinks. We're gonna be like, bruh, did you have any protein yet today, bruh? Not bruh, man. No, <laughs> yeah, bruh. Do you want a bra job? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that a B or an A? It's an A. It's an A cop? Okay. Yeah. A! A! Yeah, oh my god, okay, I think that's a good place then if we're getting silly. Yes. Yeah. As always, like, share, subscribe, tune into the rest of the guys' videos, and what? talk about your damn stream. We're streaming. What's on streaming? <laughs> We're streaming on Tuesday, Tuesday night. I'm going back into space and playing Observation. Yes. Greg might play Dead by Daylight on Wednesday. He might play something else. We will find out probably half an hour before he goes live. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday, I'm coming back and playing Silicon Head, and I might pop up again and do some retro games. And I'll point. do my voices. And Steve's going to come in and do his voices in Silicon Head again. He, yeah. do, he, do, he does do this. He does. He does. Who does do? He, he does, does traditional anime voices. 
You've activated my trap card! <laughs> <laughs> What's that line from that you're gonna cartoon? I want to see your little face break into tears! <laughs> oh, so oh, good. The, uh, what was that you one? You know! It was if, if Uno was an anime. <laughs> It's fucking fantastic. My <laughs> reverse four card! Oh! That's not good. You know! So, more of that on Saturday on Twitch. <laughs> Anything else, guys? No, I think that's, that's it. That's it. I'm fully embarrassed now. Alright, so... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go watch the Little Nas X video over and over again while I edit. So, and leave these two to be over here on the couch. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>